all right guys and girls I am finally back today I will be doing a quick tribute drawing to uh, Kentaro Miura and he is the creator of Berserk now if you don't know this manga it's it's a manga that came out well over 20 years ago and um, you know it the manga is so it's one of the most in terms of art style is one of the most influential uh, mangas um, that came out um, you know after the 80s you know during the, you know the 80s early 90s period you know mid 90s so you know it's one of my favorite mangas and um, animes of of all time not not so much the new 3d animes but I really enjoyed the um, the old animes uh, from the 90s those are the ones that I really liked and you know his art style was so so good um, you know for manga standards because a lot of mangas tend to be very um, simple like in terms of the like a lot of manga artists I don't want to say simple, but like usually the manga anime style is usually, uh, in terms of geometrical shapes, is usually a lot simple. But his style, uh, you know, I always felt like his style was more DC, sort of like almost like a Marvel or DC comics, but made for Japanese, if that makes sense. You know, he always drew in this really rendered. Uh, kind of style with a lot of cross hatching that seems to be his signature uh, technique is cross hatching with a lot of um, emphasis on Karaskudo lighting and you know light and shadow it seems like a lot of emphasis is on that when it came to his manga and um, it's really sad that he died because um, if you pretty much if you go to the um, Right now, I have a. Uh, see, I have that auto group up, and um, you know, it was posted on IGN like a day or two ago, and it says Berserk manga creator Kentaro Miura dies at age 54. Now he died of a, a disease. It's sort of like a rare disease, but it's it's. The disease is linked to, you know, people who have a like sedentary lifestyle, and being an artist myself, I kind of um, relate to that because, you know, it's really not healthy to, you know, for us to be sitting eight hours at a time. And when it comes to, you know, this guy's a manga artist, a professional manga artist, so he's constantly sitting, and you know, and the disease he died for it has something to do with your arteries so and hypertension so it's like that all comes with s being seated for long periods of time and it's you know it's, it's more like a correlation it all relates to um you know stuff like diabetes hypertension you know high blood pr pressure so that's pretty much what he had he had high blood pressure and he and because of that he got a rare but sort of common disease i forget what it's called but it all links back to having a sedentary lifestyle of you know sitting down for long periods of time you know so that's one of the reasons why i tend to even as an artist try to get up and ride my bike and do a little bit of exercise throughout the day because if you're just sitting all the time it's definitely not um healthy and it's really sad because he died uh pretty young you know it says it was reported by cnet by young animal comics released a statement on Twitter announcing his death on May 6th as a as, as a result of acute erotic dissection and that's pretty much goes back to the hypertension the it's a problem with your arteries and high blood pressure so yeah it, it's really sad and you know it sucks because we're never going to because the manga wasn't finished I don't believe it was finished so you know, we're never going to get the end to uh, Guts, Guts' story, a true ending. 
I mean, I, I heard that he finished the script for it, but um, I don't know. I feel like it's not going to be the same without the actual creator over, overseeing, you know, the final product, you know. Because, like, for example, Dragon Ball Z, you know, the, the manga artist, and there's new movie, movies coming out, even though he doesn't do any of the drawings. He doesn't do any of the drawings, but there's, he's able to oversee what goes up into the animation, what well, he's able to oversee, I'm talking about Akira Toriyama, the creator of Dragon Ball Z, he's able to oversee all of that and make sure that it aligns with his vision, you know, even though he's not the one putting down the pen and paper and drawing the actual characters, but he's still overseeing it. So I feel like even with the script, if, if one of the new artists do does something to, you know to finish the story you know something might come up that maybe is not aligned with his vision 100 percent you know you you can only follow the script so much you know so it's it's sad that um he's not around anymore you know so anyway i decided to do today to do this drawing um it's a it's a quick uh tribute drawing so uh it's not going to be anything uh too complicated is I'm gonna do one of the uh, just a head bust drawing so I'm gonna keep it pretty simple so now I'm going to since it's a head drawing I'm just going to figure out where the, the face is gonna go so I'm gonna do the skeleton sort of like right there that seems to be good and if you guys can't see, I'm just going to bring this camera in a little bit. Okay, so his eyes are going to be here, somewhere right here. I don't want to give him too much of that on this side. So sort of like that. Sort of like a face like that. Not paying too too much attention to detail. I'm just trying to round out the, the face, the jawbone, where I'm gonna put the nose and the ears. Sort of like that. Remember guys, this, this particular drawing is going to be a quick sketch. So now I'm just getting that air down there. Hope you guys can see. And then he has a, the neck. right here he's sort of looking back so it's that picture where he's looking back so which and then you see piece of his armor so right now I'm just plotting out where that's going to be and then the rest of this is uh his clothing or his, uh, where his cape goes. So sort of like that. Okay. This piece of his armor is gonna go right here. Then gonna end it right there. That's good enough. I have a piece of his sword coming up here. I'm 
I'm not even sure the, the shape of it, but I know it's sort of like roundish like that. Sort of like that. Okay, so now I have a general idea. If you guys still can't see, I can even come in a little bit closer. That should be good. The other thing I forgot the Okay, so because his head sort of comes out and then back in like that. That's what his head does. Okay, the back of his head is like this. That's good enough. And I'm gonna keep it light. So that way I can draw the hair on top, his hairline. Well first I'm gonna to try to get the the eyes down first. So I know his eyes is gonna be here, so but I'm gonna to try to get the nose and then go into the eyes, so like he doesn't necessarily have the typical anime nose it's kind of realistic but then it's kind of uh, simple so sort of like somewhere right like right here where his mouth is gonna be and his mouth is closed but kind of pursed so, oh. A little bit. Sort of like that. And then the top of his lip is sort of like right there. The bottom of his lip is going to come in. And it goes in. And then back up like that. then a little bit of his chin right there but all of this is sort of like in cross hatching so I'm just gonna do a little bit of that a little bit of cross hatching hope you guys can see that and now I'm gonna go back in and do his eyebrows, which is sort of um, sort of like up here. If it doesn't work, and I come back in do it again sort of like that but the only problem is I have to bring the nose in a little bit more so that it reaches with this eyebrow so his nose kind of go in like that sort of like that He sort of has a indentation with a little crevice right there for his nose, and then he has cross hatching for the shadow parts, like that. to raise the eyes a little bit so this eyes right there this 
It's not the typical manga eyes. It's sort of um, semi-realistic. It's one thing about his style. Even down to the pupils of how he does the pupils. There's like a light here. Sort of like that. Kind of like that. And then the other eye is going to come across here. I'm trying to measure now. About okay, so about two, so about one, two, so about right here. Where the other eye is going to start. Somewhere right there. Right now, I'm doing the eyelid. Off here, comes up down, just like that. Hope you guys can see. Let's switch up the music a little bit. And again, this is my like believe it or not for one of my favorite mangas I, I don't think I ever drew guts before and if I did it might have been like once that I have drawn him he's not like a character that I always wanted to draw even though I loved the artwork I don't know like it, it, it was never like a character that I felt like oh I have to draw him I don't know. Okay, so let me just make sure I'm getting his eyes right. It's sort of like he has like a big eye. That eye is like really big. It's sort of like that. See how it looks. He has a little circle here. Something like that. And again, if this is not right, I'll just do it again. Anything that doesn't look right to me. the eyebrows so like that so I'm going to use I'm going to draw this line as a guide for the eyebrows all right so now I feel like his ears should be a little bit smaller all right so the eyebrows are sort of like
his jawline is a little bit wider, so. We'll pull it back. Back some, like back here, bring it up like that. And then start his ears, which is gonna be smaller and wider. And his ears is gonna be like right there. So now I have space to do his hairline. my first time drawing him I'm just eyeballing where I think his hairline and his hair should go so about right there and then that's when the bangs gonna come down so like that hope you guys can see that Now I'm going to do the other bang, the bigger bang. Oh, like right there. And now his bangs are going to go the opposite direction. Like that. And they're just like Dragon Ball Z rolls of bangs, the triangles. But they're more realistic than uh, like the Dragon Ball Z bangs. With this drawing, I'm gonna to try to see if I can get the how he emphasis on light and shadow. So I'm gonna to try to do some of that with this drawing. That's pretty much his style. He, he he really focuses on dramatic lighting in his drawings. So now with this, his hair goes in a reverse. So it's going to go up now, like that, and then just like strands of hair, like that. More strands going up, and he has larger pieces going up and off camera. So now what I'm going to do is work my way uh, down, put in some of the neck muscles, alright, maybe fix this a little bit, I feel like it's a little too blocky, that's a little bit better. do the back of his hairline his back neck hairline actually sorry like I said it's a very distinct kind of um, style sort of like and I'm not too sure how he does it but right now I'm just trying to eyeball it trying to get the outer spikes first then I'm gonna go back in and do the inner spikes so that's how I'm gonna tackle it I'm gonna do like the outer portion first of his hair but then I'm gonna go in like from here and follow what I see the hairline it's, ju it's just flowing out same thing up here it's just flowing here out
right now I'm just trying to get the outline this what I'm gonna do is it's gonna be really shaded in with uh, and then here also has a cut right here All right like that and all of this is in shadow just gonna cross hatch that Cross hatch this. It's all in shadow. We'll go back into the hair soon enough. But this is the young guts, so you guys know. This is not the older, the older one. This is when he just met Casca. Just met Costco. Sort of like that. So now I'm going to go in and just do some hatching. some light hatching in there. Guys, if you just joined me, I'm drawing Guts from Berserk. The manga artist um, just died like two days ago. Well, not, he died on the 6th actually, but the news broke like two days ago. So I'm doing a, a quick tribute kind of um, sh uh, sketch of guts and this is like the young guts that I see in the promotional art so this is not the, the older one that most of you probably know this is the one where he uh, 
kind of like before he met Casca, or right after they met. So. I'm just doing the, the light hatching work, but just light shading with his hair. Now that I got that done, I'm going to go over with, this is only going to be like a two shade, so I'm going to go with a more softer pencil. And just do a little bit of the shadow room. So, in here. Under his neck. Too, too soft. Okay. A little bit more in the eyebrows, the lower. Okay, it's a little dark. Add some of the eyebrows.
this young Gus Guts excuse me some of the, the back end, the back of his head, the outline. Get the outline a little more defined. Like this is supposed to be a sketch, so I don't want to um, render it out too much. His hair is very tricky. kind of feminine but I'm gonna say it's within the style it is within the style Young Gus Guts. music sound like an old Dragon Ball Z game I used to play on the Super Nintendo. Like Battle to Shinden or something. Alright. Now it's coming along.
Wow. Bring that bruise back in there. Define his underlip a little bit more. Okay. That should be good enough. Okay, guys. This is pretty much coming towards an end. This is the guts quick sketch uh, tribute I wanted to draw of Young Guts uh, from Berserk uh, manga series and I decided to do this drawing because as you know the artist uh, just died a couple of days ago and the manga is one of my favorite uh, mangas of all time I, I put it in top three when it comes to mangas and anime and um, yeah if you haven't heard of him um, you know, if you haven't heard of the manga creators, his name is Kentaro Miura, and he just passed away at 54 years old. So I decided to do this drawing. Okay, guys and girls, I will be doing more. Uh, thank you once again for joining my live stream. Um, I really appreciate it, and I check you guys and girls on the next one. Midori out.